Are you trying to get your kid off the couch to stop playing video games? We're going to see if we have the subscription box to help you out with that. Welcome to Subscription, subscription Unbox. Unbox. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. So, Kids Science Box, mm -hmm. Eli's favorite subscription box that we do. <laughs> Are you excited for this one? Yeah. Except he's doubly excited this because one. we got two. Boom! <laughs> We've had so many boxes lately. We didn't get to it last month, so we're, we're doing gonna double up. Yes. So this one is this, this is part. the most recent one. Yeah. Okay. So we'll pop into this one first. We'll get into that one in a minute. So our thinking was we're gonna get. Let me get that open. Careful. Okay. We're gonna get uh, one project done from each one of these boxes. So we'll open it up, see what's in there. We'll pick a project. Boom! All right. So what is this? Let Dada read that one. Read the theme. Let Dada. So let Dad read that one. So like Dada. Whatever. There's not Theo doing it with this. What's that? Explore, think, create, discover. This month's experiment explores weather sounds. You'll learn how frost forms. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's neat. A little galaxy uh, hacky sack there. Hmm? Is that one? Like a hacky sack. You used to have these as kids and you put it on your foot and kick it around with your feet. I never had one of those. So this first box is all about the weather. And the galaxy. And the galaxy. <laughs> Alright, so... What's in the box? We have a solo cup with what appears to be salt, a weather window. What are these? Twenty nine ninety nine for month to month. Twenty nine ninety five for month to month. And you get so then much stuff in these boxes. The more you pre order, Ooh, the cheaper daddy. it gets. Lifesavers. Your breath stinks. I think it's time to pop into those. There you go. <laughs> Stinky breath. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what? Is What's all this? Okay, so that would be, they have experiment number one, making frost. Probably won't make that one right now because mm -hmm. that'll take some time. Yeah. Probably. We'll have to do that one with them later. Okay. Uh, that is a nature project weather window. This. Yes, you're gonna cut okay. out the middle and you make a little weather window out of it. Okay, so they have making frost is experiment number one. Uh, that's pretty cool. You're gonna use ice cream salt to get things going there and Which see frost on the outside of a cup. Okay. Uh, we have weather equipment and te technology, a mini weather station. Ooh. What? Ooh. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Here, here. Weather forecasting technology has come a long way since the days when humans looked to nature to predict the weather. Well, I think you got it upside down. Oh, it's got like a rain catcher. You can like measure how much rain. Awesome. Wow. Wind speeds. We can put that in the garden up front. That's pretty cool. Where's the wind speeds? Huh? Down here. I'm not sure how all of that oh, works. Right. I have to like get into all that, but wow. Oh. You can make a cloud in your microwave. Oh, with a bar of ivory soap. I've heard of that before. Yeah, I have too. Yeah. Is there ivory soap in there? No. No. Okay. No. They're just telling you how to do it. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, let's uh, let's get this uh, first one going here. Let's make some frost. So we're gonna get that all set up, and we'll be right back with ya. Okay, guys, we have all the stuff we need to make the frost. All right. So first thing you're gonna do, Eli, you're gonna take that plastic cup, and you're gonna fill it with one cup of ice. So all of the ice. All of it. All. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. All right. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we're not we're not drinking it, so yeah, so mine is <laughs> She'll have it all in there. Ooh, it's on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> and then okay. <laughs> okay. Towel piece. What? Oh, oh you're, you're fine. fine. It's, it's ice. ice. Okay, not, it's so now water. what does it say? I don't know, there's ice all over the thing. <laughs> Add two tablespoons of water. Oh, we didn't get the water. Oh. Hold on, let me go oh. get two tablespoons of water. <laughs> Oh, hold on a second. Okay. Skadoosh. Okay. <laughs> Squish I put two tablespoons of water in there. Okay. I thought I had everything, but yeah. So, so just dump it in. 
See how this goes down? Corner. All of it. Yeah. And then down. Down. There we go. There we are. Awesome. Now what? Uh, let's see. Stir it up with the spoon. Stir it up with yeah, the spoon. Yeah. Stir. It's gonna <laughs> stir it's so easy. <laughs> I did it. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, now, Eli, wipe the outside of the cup with a paper towel to remove any condensation. So all the water and all that. All around. So it's kind of sweating a little bit there. We're gonna make it nice and dry. Solid. There you go, okay. Okay, so I've already pre-measured three and a half tablespoons of ice cream salt and add that to the ice water. All of it? All of it. So dump that in there. Slowly. Ah, slowly? <laughs> I or, did it or not slowly. <laughs> Can I try it? <laughs> no, 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 no. No. No, salt ice cream is no. not meant yeah. to be consumed. Not, not this stuff. Yeah. Okay, so stir it for 30 seconds. I'm going to stir that. Okay, so now we have to let it sit there for 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. So okay. how about this? Let's put it over here to the side. Okay, here you're going to put that under. And let's get, yeah, underneath it. And let's get to the, uh, the next box. Yeah. Okay. All right, so. Can I cut it open? The box, oh. uh, no. No, no, no. So no, sorry. No, no, no. Nope. <laughs> Okay, so now let's back you away from that. Got my knife back. You're just messing up my hair. You're not messing up your hair. <laughs> <laughs> so concerned. Wow, I am. Right. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, a calendar. <laughs> Personal identification. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. This tells Crime you about scene your investigation. <gasps> You'll like that. Ooh, the world of forensic science. Look at this. What is this? Fingerprints. No. You even have your kit. Own um, kit. Yeah. It looks like we have some like cocoa powder. Do tattoos things. here. Tattoo. Gummies. Ooh, can I have Blood one? splatter gummies. <laughs> it's like Dexter. That's awesome. <laughs> can I have one? I'm sure that we'll have one. I'm sure we will. Okay. I don't know. It looks like we're gonna have a bunch of test tubes in here or something. I don't okay, know. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, I have no idea. And something that is. Top secret. Ooh. Do not open until you've completed the white powder lab. This. Okay. That might be what we're going to do then. Okay. Well, then, yeah. All right. Oh, hold on. I can't. Get this. Okay. Hold on. Oh, here. my goodness. All right. So. Let's get in here. Experiment number one. White powder lab. Right, okay. Forensic chemists must often identify unknown substances that have been collected by CSI agents at a crime scene. CSI is crime scene investigation, so they're like, thank you. <laughs> Are you hearing me, CSI? Yeah. Crime yeah. scene investigation. So <laughs> they're the police officers that like go to crime scenes, like if something really bad's mm -hmm. happened and they have to investigate everything. Perhaps the unknown substance is illegal and would provide and prove a crime occurred at the scene. Maybe the unknown substance, once identified, could lead investiga investigators to a suspect. Unknown substances found at crime scenes are often taken to a crime lab, and we are going to do that crime lab. Crime lab experts use testing procedures that compare characteristics of a known substance. You will test the characteristics of four powders and a fifth mystery powder with iodine, vinegar, and water. Ooh. Get your lab notebook out and be ready to write down your substances react, how your substances react when liquids are added. So then here's one, two, three, four, and five. Wow, all right, let's get that all set up. Be right back. We got everything set for our white powder experiment. What, what? All right. I feel like a real scientist, do you? Got the safety <laughs> protection here for your eyes. It hurts. It hurts. Yeah, some, I know. It's, not it's the better than it's if some of this went in your eye. Okay, so it says about one. Oh, that's, oh, that's about, about approximately mm -hmm. one eighth of a teaspoon. So I actually just got a teaspoon, so I can make sure to have some in there. I'm gonna in fill the meantime, these up. While we were getting all that ready, we've got frost. Frost. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's five bags. So here is one. Don't you want him to pour that white powder everywhere? No, ah, mm. don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the ice went so well. Okay, we'll fast forward this. We'll get this all set and we'll be right back with you. Okay, so we got all the powder in there. I've got a little chart ready to go. There's a lot to this one. Yes, there is. <laughs> I feel like a real scientist. <laughs> all right, so 
on this one, we've already went ahead and pre-filled everything, so that just took us a minute. Then it says to take out our bottles, which we already have. We are going to start with the iodine. And in giant letters, yeah. it says, caution, iodine will stain your clothes. Yes. So, gonna sit back here a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Boy, I wore a dark colored <laughs> shirt. Okay, so squeeze very gently, please. Hold on. And you're going to squeeze two drops of liquid in each of the this line right here. So each one. So start over here. Start at the end. Oop. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so we finished mixing everything up. Scientist oh, Eli here. These three turned into liquid. Mm -hmm. Yep. Number four all stink. became liquid. Number two, we definitely had some fizz when we did the vinegar there. Yeah. All right, so now I think we open the secret envelope here. Take these off because I can't. Yeah, my hands are sweating. Do <laughs> Just don't touch that. Part. Okay. So. Okay, I was right. So, what kind of substance did you think that number one was? Flour. You think it's flour? Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was flour too. Okay, I'll say flour. Okay, flour. It was flour? Yes. What did you think that substance number three, or number two was? Baking soda. Yes. Baking soda. Boom! Baking right. soda fizzes up like What that. about what is... substance number three? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, Cornstarch. What about you? Cornstarch? Yes. <laughs> He's just gonna copy me. So, uh, I already I guessed these things. when we were put, pushed, like we were putting them in out. there. Yeah. yeah. So, what did you think that number four was? Mm. Mom said powdered sugar. Powdered sugar? I'm going with powdered sugar. <laughs> yes. Scientist Sabrina. Over now, there. okay, it's just baking. Flour. Flour, flour. The flour was the first one. Unless it's the same thing twice. Flour. Although, you know what? They look identical. Number one and number five looks the same. Flour. Flour again. Correct. Aha! <laughs> we did it. You guys did really good. So. We just copied what you kind now, of said. Now, um, back to checking if we've made frost. And we sure have. There's, they are, <laughs> there is frost all the way around that thing. A lot of it. He's like, get these off of me. He's like, come on. Yep. You Very cool. And we just scratched the surface with this one. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was just the. Let's see, also, they have a. Uh, you can make butterflies oh, out of yeah. coffee filters. Yeah, I've seen those. Those That's are really cool. cool. Ooh. Uh, there's the fingerprinting kit. There's yes. an entire fingerprinting kit in there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's quite excited about that. <laughs> Can we do it? We will do that later. This uh -huh. video is going to get extremely long. It probably already is quite long. So <laughs> I really want to do it. We're going to wrap this up. I'm always impressed. I think it's a great buy for your kids. $29.99 and you get a ton of experiments for your kids. Definitely. Do you like these? Yeah. Yeah. What did you think of these experiments? Let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button and share with your friends. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time on Subscription Unbox. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to touch our faces to subscribe. But be careful, that's my beautiful face right down there.